Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary, and I love to share the many projects I have going on around here with you all. And today I plan to film a Trash to Treasure video, one of my favorites. When preparing for a Trash to Treasure video, I normally just kind of go through my things that I've been collecting for the past, you know, weeks or months or even years and just pick out things I'm in the mood to work on. And in front of me here, I have an old globe and this was going to be tossed out by someone. They didn't, you know, want it anymore. So it was a free globe and I have plans for it. I'm not sure it will it turn out, but um, I did see some images on Pinterest of something I want to do with it. And same with the tin can. Um, this would, of course, be considered trash. So I plan to turn that into a treasure. And these pieces here are from some old chairs that someone had given me. I thought about repurposing the chairs and I wasn't really that fond of the backs of the chairs. So I just cut off the legs and I plan to use this for something else. So join me as I work on these fun projects and enjoy. So what I plan to do with this tin can is turn it into a light, a little lamp of sorts. And first I want to paint the inside white. I'm also painting the top and the bottom edges white. I plan to put a contact paper or some sort of paper uh, throughout the middle, but I still want anything that will show you know, on the sides, I want that to be white. The next thing I plan to do is cut some wood for the stem part of the light. And this will make more sense as I put it together. So while the paint is drying on my tin can, I just brought another one out here that is the same size. That way I know exactly what size to make my little frame here. Basically, I'm just taking these pieces of wood, which measure three quarter inch by one inch, and you could go just a bit smaller. I think it would even look okay, maybe to go three quarter inch square, just little posts, uh, putting them together to create a frame of sorts for my tin can. Anytime you put screws into wood, and especially small pieces like this, you always want to pre-drill your holes. That way the wood won't split. For the longer pieces here, I cut them at an angle on the bottom. That way my lamp will be more at a slant. And again, this will make more sense later on as I actually put it together. I got this light clamp at our local hardware. I'm taking it apart. I'm just gonna use the light part of it where the bulb screws in. And I'm not really fond of the color, it's almost pinkish, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint it first. I didn't get a video of it, but I drilled some holes in the sides of the tin can. And here I'm just using a section of scrapbooking paper that I've had around here for years, uh, gluing that onto the can. Since I'm at it anyway and I have another tin can this size, I'm going to make another little light. Instead of using a wood stand to hold it, I'm going to use a piece of wire. I didn't get a video of it, but I bent this uh, into shape by using pliers and kind of the edge of a workbench. 
I'm not sure of the thickness of it, but it was fairly hard to, to bend into shape. And I think keeping it the copper color it is would be kind of nice too, but in this case, I think I'll want it to be silver. So I'm just using a, a hammered silver paint to paint it. So for the globe here, I also plan to make a light with it. I'm not sure what's with me and making lights. Maybe it's the longer evenings we're having here in Ohio, but that's what I plan with, to do with the one section here. For now, I'm not gonna do anything with the other part because it would be upside down for the way that I'm planning on you know, making this shade. But you could really use kind of the same concept here and maybe put it on a pole or a post uh, you know, turning it the other way, uh, use it for one of those, you know, lighting up a corner type of light, if that makes sense. I don't think I'll do it, you know, here in this video, but you totally could do that. Here I'm just using a, it's called a bottle lamp kit that I got from Dollar General years ago and just never used it, but basically just the kind of the innards of a lamp. There's even a bit of wiring required here. Um, pretty easy, just follow the directions. Now for the chair legs, I plan to cut them into two pieces and the one section I want to use for a little sign holder and the other part for a possible candle holder. Being that these leg pieces are turned, like they're not, they don't have a flat surface anywhere to lay them on, you know, to get a nice straight cut. Um, I actually got John to help me a bit uh, with that here on the miter saw. I plan to finish the rest of the pieces and sell them on the Etsy shop, so if you like what you see at the end of the video, uh, make sure to head on over to my shop and check those out. I'm sure they probably won't last long. I only have eight of each. So the taller pieces here are going to be my little sign holders. And I didn't get a video of it, but John actually cut some slots into the top of them so that I have a place to stick the little sign in. And this will make sense as I work on it. Here I'm just cutting up some plywood. I made a pattern that I want to use for the shape of my sign and I'm using the scroll saw to cut it out. I love this little scroll saw. I'll link it down below in the description box. It is from Amazon. It's just a handy tool to have in the shop for little projects like this. I'm using a gel stain here. The color is chestnut. I love gel stain. I definitely prefer it over the watery kind. Um, it just kind of leaves more room to work with, being that it's in a gel form. I didn't get a video of it, but John cut some slots in the tops of the stands, the stand part of the sign for me. Uh, you'll be able to see that at the end of the video then. He used the table saw to do it. I'm using my Silhouette Cameo to cut out the quote. The vinyl I'm using is Oracle 631 vinyl. chair leg and I think they're kind of cute they almost remind me of an old-fashioned oil lamp 
we used to have those growing up, but I thought the shape of them really reminded me of that. And what I plan to do is just create another piece of wood, uh, like around a piece of wood, and make a little candle holder. And I got these bits from my brother-in-law just now, and I'm kind of nervous about them. He gave me strict orders on kind of how to use them because they can be kind of dangerous. As far as if you don't do it just right, they can kind of grab your wood and maybe jerk the drill out of your hands. And uh, right now I'm dealing with a sore arm and I probably shouldn't even do it. I should wait on John to help me, but I'm kind of in a hurry. I wanted to do these this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. If I see that it's harder than I thought, I will probably wait on John and get him to help me. But let's see what we can do. I know guys this probably looks kind of weird but I really have to kind of use my weight here to uh, to drill this and I can feel I really have to watch and make sure to uh, just release that trigger if I feel it catching uh, it's kind of yeah it's a little bit tricky but my wood is pretty soft I think that really helps I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit shorter than some of my other Trash to Treasure ones are, but I really had a lot of fun working on it. Uh, the lights didn't quite turn out the way I had envisioned, I gotta say. I mean, they're kind of cute, but I wonder if I maybe should have used another print to wrap around the can or maybe another color for the bottom part. I feel like it could use just a little bit of tweaking. I'm not even quite sure what it is, but um, it would definitely be something I would want to try again in the future. It was easy enough to do, but I feel like maybe I didn't quite get the color combination right. But let me know what you guys think. I'm always open to any ideas and advice. And again, these wooden decorations will be on the Etsy shop. Not a lot of them, but um, I do have some that I'll list. A few of them didn't quite turn out. I'll probably just end up putting those in my booth in the antique mall. And of course I had to see how it looks to put my candles that I sell on the Etsy shop on these and I really like the look of it, especially the brown ones and then the small clear jars. As always, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!